when these two teams met in this building last February. And Matthew Cleveland told Randolph and I at shoot around, he needs one touch, <laughs> and then the nerves will go away. We will see. They've tried to downplay the Cleveland return. Both sides have. See, I thought it was one shot. You got to get one shot, and then let the nerves go. He said one touch, and Cleveland right now teeing up Jalen Worley. Darren Green, catch and shoot. He knocks down the three. He had 20. 41% from three on the season. Miller and O'Meara on the perimeter. And the three good for Wugga Poplar, who might be the most improved player in this league. He is leading the country in Division I three-point I mean, three percentage. and shooting at 49%. Both teams come out and make mistakes on the defensive end of the floor. Let's see if the nerves settle down here and they lock in. You saw the starting lineup a moment ago for Florida State. There's Deontay Green on the inside. Did you Miami's getting creative on the defensive end of the floor. They lack size. So when the ball goes in the post, you see the double team there. All the way to the rim, it's Bensley. Cleveland against one of his good buddies, Deontay Green, over to Poplar. It's tipped around, and Green, Darren Green, corrals the board. Green with his second three. The tendency on that dribble handoff to pitch back Cleveland. Now Watkins, the Seminoles' leading scorer. A transfer from VCU. Deontay Green blocked at the rim and it draws the foul. We talked about that early. Wall up, if he makes it, what's two points? I'm not going to hurt you. Keep, you can stay in your aggressive and attacking mindset. Foul trouble the first half of last season was an issue for O'Meara. Once he figured out yes. how to stay on the floor, uh, we saw what Miami can do, a Final Four run. But one thing about this team, though, different from last year, is this team cannot be successful without him. Nigel Pack gets to the rim. Green off a nice feed from Worley. And you and I talked about Worley earlier as a point guard. His size is 6'7". Expect him to post up Nigel Pack some. This is what we talked about, about multiple handlers. Omir strong to the 10. It's difficult to press a team where the center can take, break the press and do a lot of energy. Hedging that ball screen and ain't getting back. Green the turnaround, too strong. Offensive rebound to Watkins. And he uses the window. Florida State, five of its first six. State's depth, their length. It wore down Miami, who ran out of gas after halftime. Yeah, he mentioned that, and they do that. They tend to do that to everyone, but he knows he has a limited bench. And listen into the game. He hit the last three. Cam Corin comes in as well. AJ Casey is in there for Miami in place of Omir. Poplar a three, and that's good. Dribble drive. I think he could put it on the deck and drive. He shoots it so well from behind the arc. You gotta close out to him. Look to see him do that more. Poplar will get two shots. Sent from the field, 50 from three. And I just about to credit him on one program. Started as a reserve as a freshman. Started last year. Here's Chandler Jackson. Sophomore out of Memphis. Good defense by Poplar. Up ahead to George. They usually attack you because you try to match up with them. But this Florida State team, that doesn't always work. They get back and just match up with anybody. But that time, beat them down the floor. That time, O'Meara, who had the foul, didn't want to pick up. No Jackson leaning in. The rebound by Joseph. Got numbers if they take advantage of it. Over to Casey, who lays it in. Miami in control. O'Meara snags the carom. When Bobby Miller shoots, I don't even know why you go out there to challenge him. Numbers for Florida State. Green drops it off for Spears. You cannot, if you're Miami, turn the basketball over. Because this is what Florida State's banking. The full court pressure, turning you over, getting layups, getting in transition. They've done a really good job in half court, knocking down threes, but they really want to get out in transition. O'Meara through the trees, and he's able to be second Final four book as well. I mean, one of the best basketball minds. Just an overall great guy. They, they, they say these guys are old, but when you spend five minutes with them, they, they're just so young and energetic.
Spears. Back iron. Taylor Bowles bowling. He has given this team energy off the bench. And he's only played defense early. We'll figure out the rest. The young man who was born in a refugee camp in Egypt. Moved to the U.S. at age two. Here's Spears. Core in good position. And again, Omir didn't want to pick up that second foul. No, he conceded it. And that's what we talked about. He's now they're in a 2-2-1 full court pressure here. A lot of dribbling by Pack. Casey missing the flush. They're knocking down threes. They are the ACC because they're going to defend. They're going to defend you for 40 minutes. Turnovers and it cost them that one. That's their only loss in the ACC. Pack over the taller Miller. Battle for the board. It's O'Meer. And he's got two free throws coming. Norchad O'Meer averaged a double double the last three. Guard on you. You dominate him inside and get the rebound and finish. You bet. In the pack line and kind of stay in the gap. They're not going to deny much in the perimeter. They want to stay in front and make you take a locus in the shot. Corin with great position and another nice feed from Worley. Most daring O'Meer to be aggressive. Here comes Jackson. Court knocks it away from George. And the foul. Second turn over there for Miami. He's now before in the past, the last couple of years, he's had guys that were running the 400. The average person runs the 400. They just want to jog around and sprint the last 100. He wants you to sprint out the gate. And, and, and it's difficult for most athletes to do. Ball today and of late they've been better. Nine assists tonight on 12 made field goals. Awardy has a lot to do with that. He defends and uses his length and he's first pass, pass to his point guard. George the friendly roll. Awardy's playing early as well. We talked about the, the depth. George. I think he's the best pro prospect on his Miami roster. Oh, how about Spears, wow. the alchemy? To Danny up into a ball screen. Green of three. And the tip in by Ganey, the Brown transfer, who was a two time Ivy League Defensive Player of the Year. He's not quite healthy yet. You can see him kind of favoring. And if anyone had an ACL, you can tell by the brace. And physically, he's fine. It just takes some adjustments mentally. Joseph over Miller, O'Meara on cleanup duty. <laughs> I think that's the matchup from Toronto 6-10. Michael Nwoko into the game for the first time. He had not played in the last few games. Worley challenging him right away and able to get the deuce. Difficult spot for Nwoko to be in. The pace of this game and he's got a handle on the perimeter. Cleveland looking for that first basket. There it is. First time he's touched it, he was just decisive. Just got it. No hesitation at all. Attacked the paint, elevated. Got to his spot and finished. Worley the lob. Ganey the flush. Ganey is dunking. Watkins only two points, one of four. Make it two of five and four points. And Jim Laranega. Wants it to space. Poplar flies for the board. They're not knocking down three. Somebody's got to attack the rim here. Get to the paint. Now the hands of Florida State creating chaos. That's just a hard matchup. So he, he posts you up, create matchup. When this team struggles to score, that's one of their options that they go to. And now Primo Spears is eligible. He brings a scoring punch. We're watching this team peak at the right time and just get healthier. And it's just scary. Spears, that's what he can do. Young team. Yeah. Watching the freshman point guard, Nathan George. Point guard, big combination in the ACC. What's his conditioning going to be like? And he's missed a couple of games this year. Poplar missed a couple of games. Watkins down the lane. Corin to finish. It's a dangerous moment. On the offensive glass, Cleveland comes up with it. 
Here's Cleveland ahead of the pack, all the way, off balance. It spins out, Nwoko, the putback, and the foul. For Coach Ham to play the style, and he's got to attack the rim if you're Miami. You can't just sit outside the three-point line. It was almost a backcourt violation, saved by Pack. Ten to shoot. Poplar puts it on the floor, and a foul on Ganey on the drive. You're not accustomed to guys at his length body. Under four in that second half. Start as shoot. Ganey setting the hard screen. Calling for it on the inside. Gets it. And we get a foul on Cleveland who went for the block. You even play in uh, drop coverage. Just leave the drop, but you're big and big, and then you're able to rebound the ball. 90 second to beat all time. George driving on Danny. He's going to be a good one. He is so talented. Freshman. Down to six. Spears, and that's what he can do. End of a shot clock. End of the half. We saw it at the end of the game against the notice. Until Miami makes an adjustment. They're getting whatever they want. Final ticks, first half. Poplar, long distance. Pat chases it down, puts it up. And the first half comes to an end. That's something, I, the reason I think Nigel Pack and Joseph have struggled from behind the three-point line. O'Meara with a nice pass, but Poplar could not finish. And Florida State looking to push. Miller using the window. Wow, that is scary. That size and athleticism to come down and trail him. And he didn't just, he took Matthew Cleveland to the basket on that drive. There's Pack driving. That's what he needs to do. He gets inside against Baba Miller. That, get downhill and then that'll open up his three point shot. Florida State only three of 11 from three in the opening half. Worley wow. inside Deontay Green. Six assists. Seven in the first half. Worley almost traveled. Watkins driving on O'Meara. The up and under, and the put back by Deontay Green. He's got 10 points, you get 10. Tonight, Woko is kind of through that errant pass in the three-point line. He's just slow down, he's not used to playing. He's a lot of minutes and he's forced to. They're gonna attack the paint with the freshman in there. And it's Watkins for two. He and Nigel Pack, who's got the ball, combined for 40 on Saturday. They have a win against Virginia Tech. I think Nigel Pack needs to pick his match up on the switch and get to the rim. Just like that. Waga Poplar in Tallahassee. Miami handed Florida's halftime lead, led by as many as 25 in the second half, before Florida State put together the biggest comeback in the history of the ACC. And Matthew Cleveland capped it with a. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Get out of here with that. Out and you do it collectively as a league. You boost your league's net ranking. Yeah. Now the net rankings of your teams within league play can shuffle, but your league's net ranking holds. See, with some scars, and again, you got a team like Florida State, which had some ugly losses in non-conference, including Lipscomb. Different team now, playing better. It shouldn't count as a quad three loss, but it will. Joseph blocked. And we get a foul by Watkins and a goaltend. Yeah. No foul, so it'll no be a goaltend. I thought he timed it well. No. Ball screen again. Good defense leads to a turnover. Cleveland poked away by Bull Bowen. How about the hustle by the freshman? And I think they teed up Jim Laranega. He did. Doesn't think he's got a fair shake of the whistle tonight. He's been on him pretty hard today. And he's set because he's not out of line there. He's right out of the way. Yeah. He was within the end. Now the issue becomes you don't have the depth to sustain it. But they come up with the steal. Joseph Spears trailing him. 
And Bensley Joseph with two shots coming. I got Fifth in the ACC and steals. I Second foul on Spears. Joseph it really gives Jim Laranega the luxury of having two adepts. He's a really good, a really good defender. Watkins down the lane and hits the shot in traffic. A game that feels closer than it should. Now, this is where Amir has to dominate because Spears is a smaller guard. Joseph swivels in. Spears out of control. Another steal by Joseph. Gives it right up. Florida State now into its offense. Watkins, the lob for Corn. Broken play, and the Knolls take advantage. Taylor Ball Bowen. Rebound, Omir. Just run another ball screen with Omir and get the switch. Pack a long three. It's good. Shelved the three point shot this season. Miami plays to the scouting report. The lob broken up. Here comes Poplar. Ahead to Joseph. Gets the roll. It's a two possession game. Watkins over to Worley. He's got to put it up over O'Meara. And Miami can make this a one possession game. They trailed by as many as 16. Long three. Good! In, in ACC history. Cleveland was a game winner in that game for Florida State. Went for the steal. Watkins directing traffic. Working on O'Meara through the contact. And the Knowles needed that one. Three on O'Meara. Well, you go back to what's got you here in your guy. When you notice on this possession, they went to Watkins who has led this team in so many categories. It's like, hey, we're in a big moment. We need a bucket. Get him the ball. He isos and makes a play. Omir wanted it. Here's Cleveland. George wide open. And he knocks down the three. Seven straight made back. I think Miami likes the matchups as well. Watkins. Denied by O'Meara. They let them play. Now Baba Miller lets it fly, and Baba Miller. Florida State's going to be able to sub here. They're going to bring bodies in. This is where their 6 through 10 affects the game. Right, they've got hockey line changes on their bench. Here comes George. Leaves it for O'Meara. And the chance of two free throws. For Miami. He's down there battling amongst the trees. He spends a lot of energy. He's six of his last 15 from the strike. And Poplar picked up by Corin. Florida State will switch one through five. It doesn't matter. Joseph lost it, regains it. O'Neal can't get the basket, but has two shots coming when he gets a double-double. A little more confident right now. Watkins picked up by O'Meara. Miller the height advantage on Cleveland. Backdoor, Worley, and one. On the offensive end, he's more comfortable now shooting threes. Big offensive rebound for Watkins. Worley's got six assists. Shot clock winding down. Corin puts it up. Cam Corin shot the 15 foot jumper. George got Spears in the air. Gets separation. His fires. O'Meara on the putback. And Florida State's the worst. So it's just something to keep an eye on. The Knowles, though, have been better from the line in conference play. Pack from deep. Brilliant. It's knocking him down now. Miller wow. follows his miss. The Mayorkin, again, starting to show. We are in Coral Gables tonight. I'm not 
insinuating anything, but we. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a wire someone could pull. Wow. Pack is starting. Poplar draws the attention. Good recovery by the Knowles. Joseph underneath. Omir the flush. Foul as Spears makes his move to it. He can be that closer, that guy that gets the ball to Garuga Poplar and, and Joseph, but this Florida State team doesn't have a lot of guys like that. And we get a foul on Miami. He plays so hard, his motor runs so high. All season. That, that would happen with any any team in the country outside of you No know, Chad Mears, an all ACC caliber player, and there's just not many big guys like that depth behind those caliber guys. Nigel Pack almost turned it over. Here comes Poplar working around Spears, and we'll get Spears on the reach in his third. Your guy's healthy. And that's the thing with sprained ankle. In this half, Miami cut it to two on a couple of occasions. Gaining. And we'll get a foul. Ben Gaden. I think the anxiety and the pressure. I would say noisy when Miami goes to Tallahassee. Yeah, a little more friendlier here. <laughs> Two possession game. Joseph goes inside to O'Meara, and they're going to get Worley on the reach in his third. Even though you. <laughs> Just showing you. With the high IQ of hey, attempting to fake the block shot. Watkins in the paint. It's good. Great recognition. Last 27 games. But they did lose here last Wednesday to Louisville and to Florida State last February. Packed. Bad ankle and all with 19. That release is so quick. You have got to be up on that screen as a big, or he gets it off so quick. Whoa. Watkins with the hammer! Ho -ho. That's what. This is how you break a press. No shot blocker. And Florida State got a warning after that last dunk. Pax three is not there. O'Meara, another rebound. And he'll go back to the free throw line. His 11th and either as a bystander or a victim. Winning, winning comes at a price. How can that dunk save your possession? Omir missed them both. 7 of 12 at the stripe tonight. He was three of his last nine from the stripe in his prior two games. And Ganey got three down low. And it's a defensive package. Tells him, don't let Omir push you underneath the basket. I think it's a lot easier said than done. It's an NFL tight end. Yeah. Poplar lets it fly. Rebound Spears. Under eight seconds and let him go make a play. This is what his role is on this team right now. Spears splits the D and is fouled on the way up. That's why yes. he was brought in. Yeah. And this is what he's here for. Close out game. Similar back for the team. Breeze now. They're down nine. It's Try to get some quick ones and pack from the logo. And the rebound by Worley. They're trying to tell him who to foul. They want to foul. Worley would have been the guy, a 68% yeah. free throw shooter. Yeah, the Miami's bench trying to tell him to foul Worley. And Pack steals it away. They need threes. Poplar from deep, short. And the rebound to Watkins, over to Spears, and Miami will not foul. A Florida State team that closed out the 2023 calendar year with a home loss to Lipscomb. Is sitting atop of the ACC right now, outside Five of Carolina. Five and one in conference play, the lone loss 
was to North Carolina, a game in which they had a double-digit halftime lead, a double-digit second-half lead, and the Seminoles... Get Just in, in getting a road win. I mean, winning on the road, no matter what conference you win, is really hard. It's definitely hard in this league because there are no bottom feeders. Every team is tough at home. Heck of a win by Florida State. Miami's now lost three out of four. Florida State gets its 1,300th win in program history. The Seminoles at 5-1 and one in the ACC.